Hello everybody and uh, welcome to our last day on our Meander Through March Madness. I'm Laura Serrant and I'm an Inclusive Practice Specialist and a Leadership Development Coach. And I've spent time through this month with you um, sharing some of my thoughts, my musings and my comments on 40 years of working in leadership um, and working with business owners and also as in coaching. So we've reached the end. Now, those of you who have been following through the month will know that yesterday we did W. So how do we get to the end of the alphabet, which we're using to frame our discussions when we're on the last day? Well, that's because I'm taking the letters Y and the letters Z together in this. So Y and Z, what do they stand for in my thoughts for this month. Y and Z stand for your zeal. Well, what do I mean by that, you may ask? Well, zeal is actually a really fabulous word. Even the sound of it kind of makes you want to, you know, be excited. And zeal is about demonstrating a great energy or enthusiasm for a particular cause or a particular pursuit or objective. And as we think about how we move, we lead ourselves, we lead our teams, we work in our bit and develop our businesses or even our society and ourselves, being, being, having zeal about what we do is absolutely essential. That's one of the key ingredients that helps prevent us from starting as ambitious, talented, enthusiastic lions at the start of the month and saves us from playing tame, becoming less than we could be and being like a lamb to the slaughter by the end of it. Zeal is sometimes thought about as a passion, a desire for something the thing that drives you towards the end that you are seeking. Zeal enables us to be unflagging in our pursuit towards something. It's about a committed response. So in essence, zeal is about how, how much we are intentional and consistent in our work. Now don't get this wrong. Zeal taken to an extreme can also have negative consequences. We talk, when we talk about zealots, sometimes they are presented as people who are blinkered in their thinking. They're so intent on pursuing the end goal that not only do they miss the journey, but sometimes they cause damage to others on the way. But that is not the type of zeal that I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the kind of zeal that keeps you going when things are difficult, that actually enables you to see the value in where you are going, despite the challenges that may occur, but also to see the opportunities that come your way as part of the journey. And true zeal is actually about being able to bring other people with you on that journey, whether they are team members, business associates, people, employees, or friends and family. The energy of someone with zeal is infectious. It makes people want to follow, want to support, and want to actually encourage you to continue on your way. The other part of this is, is thinking about the difference between, because there is a difference between zeal and passion. And the best way to kind of think about this is that if passion is the actual desire, the emotion that's, that, it, that is involved in what we do, then zeal is actually the action. Zeal is what drives the action. So it's not just a feeling about something, it's the consistent and intentional acts we take towards that end. Now I haven't forgotten the letter Y in this, and that is absolutely key to link in the action and the passion that we need to enact zeal 
with something that is much more considerate around ourselves in our world, in our businesses and in our teams. It's the your. The action that we work in towards with our zeal is focused on what is important to us. So it's your zeal, not just zeal left unchecked or wandering or running um, without any control or focus. So the question here is what is the intention? What is the destination for the actions of your own zeal? What makes it, what makes you, you in the way you do this? What is important to you? Why is it important? And to what end will it, will it contribute to yourself, to your organisation, to your business, to your team, or to your family and community? And even more important when we think about your zeal and how they, that works, what will your legacy be from the zeal that you, that you um, demonstrate? By what actions, by what notions will they know you were here at this point? And how will we evidence, how will you evidence the contribution that your zeal and the energy put into it will make? It's important to remember that how we enact our zeal, how you do your zeal is really, really central to your legacy and your success. Because zeal left unchecked is a dangerous thing. And zeal should not outweigh discretion, or for those of you who remember the letter D, discernment. Discernment and judgment frame the zeal that we have. And in fact, all the days we have done prior to today, the 25 days that we've done in March, form the framework for your zeal. They are the mechanisms through which you act as yourself with what you have, but always intentionally and consistently towards an end. The lion and the lioness act with zeal, passion, intention, insistence, persistence but always with some discretion. Continue forward from here. We've reached the end, as I said. And look out next week for something slightly different. I'm Laura Serrant, and I'm an inclusive practice specialist and a leadership development coach. I leave you with March and with the spring and just a little madness. I'll see you soon.